It's possible you have already used SNMP or at least have heard about it, but most likely only with reading some values from your devices. But did you know that RouterOS allows you to execute scripts using SNMP? What does this mean? It means that you can execute any script and get your, the response in your SNMP server. There are many use cases, checking for updates, get critical logs, or things like cable test results. So how to do it? First, we need to be sure that SNMP is enabled. So let's go to IP, SNMP, and if it's not enabled, enable it. Next, we need to make a community just for that. The community needs to be with right access. I'm going to call my community SNMP test just for this video. Okay, that's done. So when that's done, we can check if SNMP is working. I'm going to check this with a tool called SNMP walk. So let's do it. Uh, it's not working, sorry. Another thing you need to do in SNMP settings, trap community needs to be changed to the SNMP test one. Okay, that's done. And now it's working great. So we can read the values. So now let's create a script to execute it. Let's go to systems and scripts and create an, just an easy script. Let's say uh, we're going to do a script for a cable test. So write interface, Ethernet, cable test, and the interface you want to test it on. And let's call it uh, cable test one. Okay, that's done. So now using the terminal, we can print the OID of the script. To do it, we need to use SNMP walk. Uh, I'm gonna uh, give this OID to you so you don't need to go through all the tables, but this is the table which will start with the script. So run the command and we can see the OED of the script value cable test one. Now copy this OED and uh, to get the value just for this test, uh, we're going to use SNMP get. S so to execute the script, you need to change the table from 8 to 18. And using SNMP get, you will get the results you want. So the printout of the cable tests, you can see normal, normal, all is good. And the results are in. So why do we need to change 8 to 18? The table 8 is for reading the values. Table 18 is to execute the script's values. Now you can implement it in your SNMP monitoring system to get values with scripting. Now, when adding a new script, it will be the next OED in the table. So this was one, the next one is going to be two. Again, change from eight to 18, and that's all. Have fun scripting.